What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of What the Truck. We got Willie Davis over here. He built El Diablo, which is a 1971 yep. F100, and you put a 69 grill in it? Uh, 67. 67 grill, yep. all custom. This thing is next level. Well, tell us a little bit about this thing. So, starting at the front, well, one of the first things that we did was, uh, in order to up front, a lot of times when you shut the hood on these trucks, you've got five eighths, seven eighths of an inch of a reveal. So, narrowed the front of the truck up uh, a couple inches, which involved cutting the grill, um, section the grill at this point on both sides. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is headlight rings used to be screwed in. Um, I went ahead and welded those in. Uh, body and paint got them smoothed out. Uh, fridged in the uh, headlights three quarters of an inch, moved the park lights in a quarter of an inch. Um, obviously, smooth front bumper, pulled the frame horns back an um, inch and a half. Uh, took two stock Ford bumpers and built one. Um, moving up, uh, hand built, built all the inner fenders. Uh, wanted the grills to mimic what's on the hood. Uh, I'm trying to come up with the design, that's uh, what we came up with. Um, also, used the stock core support. Um, but I, I lowered the core support by three and a half inches because I didn't like the big, bulky, um, high core support. Um, smooth the bottom side of the hood. Uh, the, latch is, the latch that we decided to go with uh, was exposed in the grill opening. Uh, getting rid of the chrome, I wanted to do something different, so I just put a little drop down there to, to mimic the outside angles. Uh, looks really killer with the hood down. What, uh, obviously, it's a Coyote. What size is that, uh, is that Whipple on there? Um, it is the, I believe it's the 2.3. It's just, it's just the basic hot rod. Um, Dude, you universal. detail this thing so good. Man, you did a good job detailing this. Um, Granitelli Motorsports uh, built us some custom billet valve covers and uh, the actual coil covers. They were a little disappointed when they sent them to me polished and we decided to paint them, but uh, it kind of went with the theme of the truck. Didn't want a lot of polished on it. Man, how long of a how long of a process was this truck? Um, so it took about total is about five years, but it was probably three years of actual time working on it. Um, side trims, all custom built billet. Uh, a buddy of mine in Grand Junction, uh, Mike Blackwelder, actually uh, helped us on the trim. Uh, come out really well. Um, intro built us the wheels. There we just color matched those to the silver. Uh, Redline tires, uh, Treadwear. Couldn't find anybody to do the Redline tires, so Treadwear hooked me up with the uh, Redlines. Uh, buffed the sidewall, the tires, glued them on. I think they turned out pretty decent. Um, obviously, flush mount windshield. Um, what did you do to get that there? Did you so, custom windshield or? No, that's a stock windshield. Extended the pitch welds and then moved all the metal in and down. Uh, Smooth. Oh, I like that you kept the yes. body line that you did on the hood. Brought it right into the cowl, got rid of the vents in the cowl, windshield wipers, obviously. We're not going to drive this thing in the rain. When, um, even if. rain -X works great. Yeah. Contemplated uh, bringing them actually through the windshield into the dash, but Ooh. the styling of the dash was way too cool. Um, kind of kind of subtle and, and understated like the rest of the truck. We wanted the truck to be custom looking and have some modification, but I didn't want to vary from the actual... Um, the actual design of the truck. Ford got really close as far as the style. Um, we just changed some of the stuff that was what I call rough around the edges. Tell me a little bit about what you know your ideas were on the interior. So through the whole process of the truck, I want to do red on red on red. And some of the people that followed it on um, Instagram really dogged me for too much red. And oh, you're you know you're missing the boat, and it's never going to, going to be any good. And I kept telling them, you know, bear with me. Um, we got Tracy Weaver at Recovery Room in Nebraska on board with the interior. Um, Tracy, Tracy could see what I could see, and uh, we run with the red interior. Obviously, we've got some silver in there that um, helps break it up, but uh, for the most part, the dash is pretty simple. We'll kind of mimic the side of the truck with the, the same trim that we used. Um, Tracy did a lot of things, like the little custom logo on the side of the console there. He did that all on his laser table. Um, all hand-built console, the side trim. Kind of, if you look at the side trim, it, it's almost like the, the side trim and emblem that used to be on the side of the hood of these trucks. So he kind of pulled off of that. Um, you know, the pleating in the seats, the grill in the back of the seats, all based off of like the 64 Galaxy um, stuff. So anything that Tracy did was still a cue off of what Ford has done on something. The, the door handles are Mustang. Um, really cool what he did with the door panels. I think interior wise, the door panels are the focal point. They Again, do. 
Again, the trim through the side of the door panel is this incredible. dude. I don't know what brand this is or whatever, but that's so cool. I need to figure out. So you need to tell auto me lock, that. auto lock um, builds those. They I work. I hate very when you well. see the wires and everything. That's so cool. The sucky part is, is right now we cannot roll up the windows, roll down the windows. Yeah. But not a big. How deal. often do you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, not a big deal, but it works really well, and yes, it keeps it super clean. Um, going to the back, uh, side exit exhaust. Uh, form the the tip to kind of you know match the the roll of the body we welded up the side seam of the truck obviously filled the stake pockets welded up the seam uh, up here welded the seam around the back of the cab also flush so anybody that plays with these trucks a lot they know that the bed is narrower uh, than what the cab is so i actually cut the front of the bed and spread the quarter pounds out so the plane down the side of the truck is a lot better the Chevy guys are like this. The, the inner fenders are actually the wide C10, 67 to 72 C10 uh, fender wells. I'm a Chevrolet guy at heart, so I had to put a little bit of Chevy stuff in it. Um, dual wall um, on the bed. The, the bead rolling actually comes around and matches the, ro the bead rolls in the wheel tubs. The, the center of the bed is all on, a, on linear actuators, obviously. Um, flip, flip of a switch, it will go up or down which is really cool. It's a little slow, but it's an added touch that's really nice. What kind of suspension are you running? Um, so it's got the Hyatt's Mustang 2 front. Uh, the rear is all designed by me. Uh, it's running on probably 60% stock um, F100 chassis. Okay. And then you just sand, like sandblasted the whole thing, powder coated it. Um, so actually there's no powder coating on the truck. The, the frame, um, the, the matte, the gloss, and the silver is all paint. Really? Um, it's all base clear, and we just played with uh, the, the different kinds of clear to make it uh, what it is today. Uh, rear bumper, again, stock F100 bumpers. Took two of them, built one, um, shortened it, uh, got rid of the license plate, hole. Uh, the cool touch that I, I did not want a functional tailgate because it looks so much clean inside, but I wanted to appear like it was a functional tailgate to keep the, uh, you know, the Amish to the F100. I did move the panel on the tailgate out. I believe that's about inch and three quarter. I wanted more of that flat look. It's a simple little thing that a lot of people will not pick up on, but uh, it's something I, that I thought we needed to do on the truck. And I think it, it really adds a lot to it, dude. And you guys did such a good execution on the truck. I've been following it literally since the beginning. And uh, I, I was one of the guys that was like, dude, that's a lot of red. But yeah. once it's all together, yeah. it really you really pull it all together, dude. Yeah, and it's tasteful. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have a vision in my head that I can see something done. And um, sometimes people don't trust in my vision. But when it's all said and done, haters are still going to hate. But for the most part, uh, this weekend has been very, very... Um, appreciated by the Chevy guys, by the Ford guys. Uh, we've been getting a lot of love and, and I appreciate everybody that's followed it. And uh, I hope everybody enjoys the finished product. I think so. And we're gonna see you pretty much throughout the year. Like, so we whoever goes to the big shows. On, yep, we're headed on tour next year. We'll hit all the good guy shows. We'll be at LST. Uh, we are, uh, I talked to the owner last night. We will be in Pigeon Forge in May for the Nationals. Um, you'll have your opportunity to see this truck uh, at numerous times next year. Sweet. And uh, where can everybody find you, like uh, social media wise? Um, so I have a WW Speed and Customs page on Facebook, and that's Big Willie's Garage on Instagram. Sweet. Well, dude, thank you so much for showing it to us. I really appreciate you taking the time to like really explain the whole process, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next one. If you like this video, have any questions, comments, drop them below, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Later.